Lieberman is a friend of mine from way back when, and she is the epitome of a Las Vegas showgirl. This is a dear friend. This is Liz Lieberman. Say hello. Hi, Hi all. How are you? <laughs> she is the showgirl. <laughs> yes. Oh. They design entire shows just around her. Would you like to learn a little bit about the posture and walking on the balls of your feet? Okay. Don Arden invented this walk. Learning to walk like a showgirl isn't easy as it looks. You have to have really good posture and really good focus. It's kind of like walking like a giraffe. The big neck. <laughs> now then, I have a surprise. So, okay, who wants to put some... <laughs> Ladies, I have one other surprise for you. Oh! <laughs> All right, ladies, I have one other surprise for you. A real live showgirl, Katie. Oh! girls were excited to see an actual showgirl and I think it was nice for them to see like this is what you're working for this is what you can be someday there's one thing I was a principal in the show and there was a caveat that I had to work topless I think Liz didn't realize how young the kids were because everything was going great and then she talked about going topless and I'm like jeez not every show in Vegas by any means but the shows I did we had to. If Maddie ever told me she wanted to be a topless dancer, I would totally lose it. I would lock her in her room and throw away the key. Christy and I hang out a lot together. Hi, I'm so sorry. Sorry, 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 I'm late. We're pretty good friends. We do things while our kids are doing things. I'm so sorry, I had to go pick up Chloe's costume. Oh, your costume's ready? I'm assuming yours isn't. Would you expect anything different? Let me see that costume. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, rub it in a little bit. Look, she's a little French-like traveler. I don't understand why everybody else has a costume, but my kids don't. I, I just don't understand why my kid never has a costume. She doesn't get the time with the choreography and stuff like that. She gets the sh choreography, and then and when she does get them, they don't fit, or they're n they don't go with the dance. I don't, I don't. I'm just so tired of it. I'm sorry. I don't know. I hate Vegas. I know. We need to do something fun. We'll have to think about it and find something that All right. everybody well, could do. I think we need to go because the kids are almost done with rehearsal. Our cupcake date's over. I know. It was Here. so yummy. All right. Ready, Chloe? Let's go. Bigger jump. That needs to be big. Well, Miss Abby says this week I have to win because I don't have Maddie competing against me. I guess people say she's my biggest competitor. Watch that arm. I put a lot of pressure on Chloe because I am sick and tired of hearing the Maddie excuse. You know what? There's a thousand Maddies out there. You can't control it. Go out there and do your best and win because you're great. Chloe has amazing opportunities. She has an amazing future ahead of her. And I know she has what it takes. When Miss Abby's tough on me, it's definitely not the greatest feeling. I am giving you this opportunity, yes? I'm sick and tired of hearing, I never win, I never win, it's not about me, it's not about me, it's about you. Yes, you have a new solo, go out there and win. She can be tough, she can be very tough. Tom Bay, Pottermore Reg, Lee Sun, head up! <laughs>